you know, thank you for the 50k subs. We're gonna keep it moving. And uh, a lot has changed in my life, but my desk kind of stays the same. But uh, let's keep going. Here's the, uh, here's the office. First thing you'll see is uh, the bookshelf. Then you got the keyboards. You got the uh, GMMK Pro. You got the um, Topre. Just the, some handmade one. This is the goaded keyboard, I think. The, uh, this is the one I always use at the office. It's not loud. It's the uh, first generation Apple keyboard, wired. And it's a little bit more mushy than the newer ones. You got like my wife's pink keyboard here. She stole my other keyboard right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so this is, um, this is where I work. Got the gaming monitor. Uh, it's a Hansung, it's a Korean brand, 39 inch gaming monitor. So it has like lights in the back and stuff. And um, this is a uh, Xiaomi monitor light. It has like a puck to turn on the uh, light and stuff. At night, it's pretty good and you can turn it for brighter. Got the Shure mic. It's the Shure mic, the MV7, I think. And then um, the Targus docking, pad, docking, docking station. So all my stuff is connected to this docking station. I have my monitor hooked up here, a mic, um, another port. Uh, whole, like everything is connected here. So when I go outside to the cafe or something, all I do is unhook this one USB-C and I plug it back in. I did upgrade my computer not too long ago. It is a um, M3, M3 Max with 36 gigs. Uh, if you take a look here, 14 inch, space gray. Uh, got it good, for a good price, and um, it's, that's that's my setup. Keyboard. Nothing. Oh, the keyboard is a uh, is a Keychron uh, Q1 Pro, and it ha it has a tape mod on the back. So you just take some um, painters tape, and you tape up the back of the um, the back of the board, PCB board, and it makes like a more of a thocky sound. Mm. Well, let me just try to do this here. Makes more of a thocky sound. Got Austin Powers right here. <laughs> <laughs> from Shea. Uh, anyways, uh, the switches are these um, HMX SPM pebbles, mm -hmm. linear. The same ones in there actually. Pretty cool. And then um, I got some uh, just a uh, nice ABS. Wait, AB? ABS keycaps. Oh, this is a little throwback. This is the first mic we used in the YouTube videos with uh, the iPhone 12. Um, we did upgrade the f uh, on the filming. It's the Osmo Pocket 3, and. Uh, that's about it. Everybody loves a deodorant on the on the desk. <laughs> and uh, this is uh, Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. It's my <laughs> cologne that I use every day. Yeah. And um, it's a molecular notebook for my notes. Uh, anyways, um, one thing is um, I do have a bunch of keycaps. So if we might do some giveaway on keycaps. We have like, I think I have like three extra sets here. Um, just like these red ones. Um, let me see here. Brown ones. That's a good one. So they're all the same. I think I have like four or three sets. So, what else? Oh, I got this, um, it's just the cheapest bamboo palm rest I could find. Mm. Put that there, makes it easier to type. Most important thing is the, um, one of the most important things is the MX Master Series 3. Mm. I heard the 4 is coming out soon, but I know I have all this gear, but uh, we're making a website soon with uh, all my gear there. So um, uh, that'll be out, keep on the lookout for it. And you know, it's really not about the gear. You can, all, you can see like, I have almost the same setup uh, from when we first started, I probably had this set up for like, uh, you know, a couple of years. And you know, it's, the channel has been a year old now. Not a lot has changed. Still messy, still, uh, still whatever. But um, you know, the most important thing is just to get started now. You know, like even a, like, you don't need this like laptop arm or anything, you know? Mm -hmm. Like actually like a setup that I like more is like if I just lifted up the monitor a bit and I put the MacBook here, you know what I mean? So I, I don't have to do like a lot of like left and right looking and I can just look uh, vertically. But yeah, it doesn't really matter about the gear or anything like that. It's just 
about getting started and then you'll upgrade or find the things that you find comfortable. Um, yeah, that's about it. And like now I'll probably just show you my computer settings because I think a lot of people have been asking questions about it. So uh, the apps that I use and um, what Visual Studio Code extensions I use and then how, and then you can transfer those over to Cursor if you're using Cursor. All right, so um, this is, uh, you know, I think this is the newest version of uh, Mac OS that is stable. Um, please take this serial number out. <laughs> but um, please take this serial number out. <laughs> but it's uh, Mac OS Sequoia. Um, that's like the Sequoia trees in the back. Uh, I use Warp as my term, uh, terminal. So it's pretty good. Like it has like an agent. So I can be like how to connect SSH. And it can tell me like right there. It's pretty quick. And um, I think that's pretty cool. It's really lightweight and fast. And I'll, like uh, here are my settings. So I think I use Oh My Zesh and I use CSH theme uh, Power Level 10K. Um, don't think you really need it anymore. Um, whoops. So these are just all my path variables. Um, I have a couple like aliases like start Mongo, stop Mongo, start Nats. Uh, I don't think I use these anymore because I use um, and I made these uh, shell scripts to connect. But let me see if like this works still. Oops. Oh, I took I took that shell script out. I think I got to take it out anyways. Let's take that out. Let me see my uh, let me see my commands. Uh, I do have open ports here though. Bash open ports. All right, that doesn't work. Take that out, please. <laughs> also, uh, what I do is, uh, this is just my organization in my terminal. From my home folder, I just have a code folder. And I just separate like what I'm studying, my apps, and uh, all that kind of stuff. And uh, I'll just show you my uh, VS Code right here. So let's just go into, um, what I do is um, I just press code dot and then um, this is my code base or whatever. Uh, one thing that I use, uh, I'll show you my extensions here. Um, installed, I have GitHub Copilot, chat, um, GitHub pull requests, dot net install tool, Arbiter. So this is like the uh, theme that I'm using from Wonder Panda. I think it's pretty small. It's only like it's less than 5,000. Oh, let's give it a rating. Dude, when, I think it went way up because you. Uh, I don't know. Be like one thousand something. I don't know, but it has zero. It has zero ratings, so <laughs> so it's not. It's not like very popular or anything. Yeah. But I think it has good separation. Mm. And um, it's very lightweight, like more so than like One Dark Pro or something. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using C Sharp. This is like uh, we're teaching like a C Sharp course, .NET course inside of the. So I'll just follow along. Uh, code cursor. I don't think I'm using this anymore. Uh, color highlight. So this one's pretty good. So if you actually look at my colors folder, it's just making the colors here uh, for the for what is this called? The hex? Yeah. The hex numbers? Right. Is it called the hex? I think so. Yeah. Mm. It's hex on RGBA, right? Yeah, I think it's hex. And then um, I have container tools for Docker, Dart, debugger for a Java. These are just for like uh, Flutter and um, React Native stuff. Docker, Docker DX, Elixir, because I'm doing a little bit of Elixir. ESLint, file and folder icons. I think I am actually using, um, let me see here, themes for my file icon theme is actually material icon theme. And I like material icon theme because you get all the nice um, icons. Mm -hmm. uh, let me check what else I have in my extensions. Uh, Git lens when I'm feeling toxic. Go. Um, Groovebox. Image preview. Image preview is pretty important, as in, like, um, if you just look inside of like my images. Wait, let me see. Images index.tsx. And like the images next to here, it'll show you a little preview of the photo. Mm -hmm. And then um, IntelliCode is always super important when you're using VS Code. That's like what's going to help you with your auto completion and stuff. Uh, JavaScript ES6, TypeScript, um, Nightly, Jupyter, 
for uh, Python stuff for me. And then Kotlin, it's just some more themes. Live preview to kind of, this one's pretty important. Live server is very important as well. Live preview actually opens up um, your, uh, your code in browser inside of the VS Code. And live server gives you a, a port. Live share is always very important for uh, pair programming. Uh, low T viewer, material icon theme. One that I really like is Emmet. Emmet is super important and uh, prettier. I didn't think I had this many extensions. One that I really have like fallen in love with recently is Rust Client. Uh, it helps you like I'll show you how I'll show you guys that right now. Because um, I used to use Insomnia a lot, but now I'm using Rust Rust Client, and it seems to be a little bit easier for me and. It's easier to share the uh, HTTP files. So here's like ls clear npm run. Let me just make sure here. And uh, one more thing is like I use um, magnets. It's a uh, it's like a little bit of a paid program on uh, App Store, but it lets you uh, kind of just like do like this kind of thing. Here the hotkey is this. This so it just like makes it like a Windows, and then uh, REST client. It's really good because I just do like npm run dev, and let's say that um, I'm inside of my HTTP client here, and I want to make a request. I can just um, I can hit this request, and it gives me all the requests as long as I type it correctly, and that's pretty cool. That's one that I really like recently. Um, Solidity, Svelte for when I was doing Svelte stuff. Tailwind CSS, um, Vter for Vue. Um, and that's about it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you can always just like export these over to cursor. So if you actually look at my cursor, it looks the same, exact same, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Right, so. Oh, this is cursor? Yeah, this is cursor. It's the same thing, pretty much. I have all the same extensions. The same. Yeah, I have all the same extensions and everything. Yeah. So. Um, and that's it. And oh, and like one thing that really helps me is uh, the copilot on here. So, like, you know, it just helps with the auto completion. And what else? Mm, what other apps do I have? Not much. So, what's the mobile app that you use or for mobile coding? Oh, you just Xcode? Xcode. And uh, the simulator, so that's part of Xcode, mm -hmm. and uh, that'll give you this kind of like emulator here. Right. Yep. Yeah. Why isn't it refreshing? Let's see my terminal. Yep, like this. Nice. Mhm. Mm and then um. Yeah, that's about it, to be honest. What's the most essential things uh, like a beginner needs to have? I think um. Node or MVM uh, if you're going to do Java web dev, and then um, you also need VS Code, some kind of text editor. Maybe I would say start with VS Code and then move to cursor so you don't like you can actually type stuff out. Um, but it doesn't matter, you know, actually, coding's changed now. That's about it though, nothing more. And then, uh, you know, you'll find what's comfortable for you. But uh, like things like magnets or rectangles or something, like the uh, the window management stuff, I think you know it, you get used to that kind of stuff. And now I can't like code without it. And like there's like a lot of hotkeys that I use in VS Code, like you know like um, Command D to like multiply my cursor, or like you know Command Alt um, Option I, and then arrows to like make multiple cursors. Um, like I use command tilde a lot because I'm working on front end code and for, uh, so like if you actually look at my code and if I have like the back end open and I put it on this side, I can just like command tilde and like manage through the windows mm -hmm. and that's kind of how I code, code kind of fast. So that's like uh, one of my, like that's my flow that I use a lot and uh, that's about it. Comment below if you're going to start today. Um, I recommend starting now rather than in an hour or next week or tomorrow or whatever. I think now is the time 
for anything. So uh, let's get going. Right. And if I can do it, you can do it too. Coding saves lives.